the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Shalom, and you better hear my from the branch of GMS, South Carolina Millens. Lord, will this be edifying? Before I start off, all praise, our honor, and all glory belongs to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Bahashim means in the name, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of His Son, our Lord and our Savior. The Rekakwadash is the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, in whom I learned this truth, who teach and rule well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered abroad, wherever you may be. Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Okay. And the one true living powers is Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? Yahweh in the name of the son Yahweh Shai. Okay. And it reads right here. It says six victims shot and killed. In a Virginia Walmart included a 16-year-old boy, authorities say. So this right here is none other than judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, obviously these, these men, these women, and these children that was caught up in this judgment, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, was 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 displeased with these people, okay? And judgment went out. So um, here in the book of Job, chapter 4 and verse 7, it says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? So yeah, that's straight and forward to the point. Where these people right here in this this uh, Walmart shooting, you know, were these people innocent? Probably not, okay? Nine times out of ten, these people were sowing wickedness, and therefore they reaped the judgment. I'll be how about Shimmy Hawa Shai, okay? So there's another article I got here. <clears throat> you know, it's a lot of judgment that's been going out here lately. And you have one right here. It says, student suspect in custody after three football players shot dead and two people mm -hmm. wounded at a University of Virginia, at the University of Virginia, police say. So you have another shooting. In the same state of Virginia, here in Babylon, Babylon the Great, which is America, okay? You think these, uh, you think that those three football players was thinking about Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, okay? Probably not. So therefore, the judgment of Yahweh by Shimei Shai came upon them, and then and, the, and it came upon them unaware, you know? And the scriptures, the scriptures tell us, to make no tearing, to turn to the Lord. Actually, let me go ahead and just pull that real quick. <clears throat> Yahweh uh, in the book of Ecclesiasticus, <laughs> or oh, the book of Sirach, um, chapter 5, um, book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sirach, chapter 5, and verse 7. Give me one moment. I'm actually looking this up on my laptop and it said that I'm not able to look up the Apocrypha. Uh, just bear with me. Oh, okay. I see it right here. I don't know what was going on just now. <clears throat> but to get back into it, the book of Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 7, the scriptures tell us to make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Sirach or Ecclesiastes 5 and 7 says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. And I'm sure that these men that was in uh, Virginia, the University of Virginia, I'm sure that they heard of the Hebrew Israelites, you know, about their nationality. And I'm pretty sure they heard about their power. And they probably brushed it off, you know, because they, you know, pretty nice university, you know, that's pretty much chasing whatever aspiration they was trying to be, you know, uh, probably pro football players, okay? And they was probably putting off the Lord, putting off the Lord day by day. And then the judgment of you, how about Shimei Shai? It just, I mean, it, it caught up to him, okay? It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly 
for suddenly, okay? Now that, I mean, that, that can catch you off guard. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And another perfect example is, is the, um, the, the people at the Walmart, okay? You, you probably wouldn't even think twice that the manager of the Walmart is going to, you know, pretty much put you to death. You know, you're going to receive judgment by the by the hands of the Walmart manager. OK. But, you know, the wrath of the Lord caught these people off guard suddenly. OK. And they were destroyed and they perished in the day of vengeance, as the scriptures say. All right. So we go and pull this. The book of Amos, chapter three and verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid. And and that that's straightforward and to the point. You know, the prophets out there, they are the modern day trumpet, you know. They are the they're the modern day warning to the people of Israel, right? The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. They given the warning week in and week out. And then just to prove that point that the prophets are the modern day trumpet. That's being blown, the modern day warning here in the book of Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. It says, cry aloud, spare not. Why are we to cry aloud? We're, we're likening it to that modern day trumpet as we're about to read. And spare not, we're not going to spare nobody's feelings. It doesn't matter how you feel, all right? All that matters is the truth, the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, cry aloud. Spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Okay, so we are to give our people warning, all right? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are to give you warning to wake up, to repent, and return back to your power. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. That's the true names of the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh, and the true name of His Son, our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, okay? We are to wake up and to repent, man. It says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and shrew my people their transgression. What is transgression? None other than sin, okay? Which, you know, if you should know by now, First John 3 and 4, sin is the transgression of the law, all right? Of the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So it says, shrew my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. So just going back to the point, it's not like the people that was, uh, you know, caught up in this judgment at Walmart or or even the, the three men at the university. It's not like they haven't heard the warning that the prophets have been given out. OK, starting with the apostles and the elders on down, this warning has been going out for decades. All right. So it's pretty much, <clears throat> there's no excuse for Israel, all right, that that consists of all of us. There's no excuse when the Lord returns, okay? So <clears throat> just read um, a, a couple more precepts here in the book of Psalms, chapter 9 and verse 16. It says, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higion said, Law. That scripture said that Yahweh Shem Yahushai, he's known for doing this. He's the, 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 the Lord said you reap what you sow. Okay. So so are we to to uh feel sympathetic for these people when they catch judgment, you know, while the while they're doing their wickedness, okay? They they receive their warning, but if they continue to do that wickedness, well, their blood is gonna be upon their own hands. Because the prophets, according to Ezekiel, um, you can read it in Ezekiel 33. Let me see if I can pull that up. You know, the prophets, <clears throat> their job is to go out there and give the warning, you know, to wipe the blood off their hands. And then after that, you know, if you if you hear, you know, the warning and you continue to, to do your sin or your wickedness, then that's your problem. OK, you're going to have to answer to you. How about Shimei? I'm shy about that. All right, so let me get it here in the book of uh, Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to get straight to the point. Um, 
Uh, uh, uh. to the children. I guess I'll start from verse one. You know, this this is a very heavy chapter in itself. In the book of Ezekiel 33 and 1, it says again, the word of Yahweh Shemel Shai came unto me saying, Son of man, speak unto the children of thy people. Who's the children of our people? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. We are the children of Israel. It says, and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the upon a land, if the people of the land take a man at their coast and set him for their watchman, okay, and the the modern day sword, or the sword of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, that is, is Esau, okay, and uh, Esau was blessed with the sword, which the modern day sword is the gun, if you can't receive it, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. If, if if it be the Lord's will, I'll try to pull that precept that Esau Edom is Yahweh Shemel Shai swore. Um, let me see if I can just go ahead and pull that real quick. That way, I just don't forget the point um, that Esau Edom uh, is Yahweh Shemel Shai's swore. <coughs> That way I don't forget it. Um, yeah, the book of Psalms, chapter 17 and verse 3. Arise of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. Who's the wicked? That's the so-called white man of today, pursuing back to Malachi 1 and 4, the border of wickedness. So Esau, Edom, which is thy sword, okay? And that's that's the same same sentiment that w that that we want, okay? We want Yahweh Shemuel Shad to deliver us from Esau Edom in this time to come, Jacob's trouble, hour of temptation, so on and so forth, you know, from all this judgment that's about to hit the earth, okay? So going back to Ezekiel the thirty third chapter, I'll start at verse two and go on through, since we got the point that Esau Edom is the Lord's sword. And Esau Edom, his blessing was the sword, going back to Genesis, the 27th chapter. Okay. It says, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today, who are the Israelites, and say unto them, When I bring a sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchmen, and, uh, you know, all throughout the states within Babylon and all across the four corners of the earth, you have camps and you have the head of camps, you know, who are the watchmen, the prophets of today. It says, if when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. We're telling you that Esau, Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of is about to come down, having great wrath, pursuing back to Revelation 12 and 12. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He's about to come down. And he's about to come down hard with the sword. Okay. He, he's not about to play no game. That's why it's called Jacob's Trouble. Okay. Two thirds is about to get a heavy judgment out here. It says. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet. And taketh not warning. If the sword come and take him away. His blood shall be upon his own head. So we gave that warning. All right. To the spirit, the Rakakadash, the Yahweh Shem Shai, we're giving that warning, okay? So if you hear that warning and you don't take heed, your blood is on your own hands, all right? It says, He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh the warning shall deliver his soul, okay? And I advise any Akim Wakwa to read this whole chapter because it's really heavy, okay? Um, but going back to the point that I was making in Amos, <clears throat> in the book of Amos, the uh, third chapter, I just wanted to elaborate on the point that the prophets are the modern day trumpet and the prophets through the Rekakodashi, Yahabah, Shemel Shai, they have been given that warning, okay, you know, to the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans of today, all right? So it says in the book of Amos 3 and 6, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, 
and the people not be afraid. So the prophets is giving a warning. You should be very afraid. You should you should, that should put that should spark a fear of Yahweh Shemiah within you, because I know that all brothers have that same testimony that once they heard whether it was the apostles and the elders or or, or elder brothers wherever they heard this warning from that if you don't repent and turn from your wicked ways then you're gonna die. That's pretty much the sentiment of the message. All right, but if you repent. And, and, and turn from your wicked way, return back to your power, and have faith in your Hobashim Yahushai, you could possibly be of that hopeful elect to be saved, alright? So, it says, read on, shall there be evil in a city, and your Hobashim Yahushai have not done it? We, we, we just read the scriptures that your Hobashim Yahushai is known by the judgments which he executed. So, these six victims that got shot, and killed in a Virginia Walmart, including a 16-year-old boy, and these and these three uh, football players that got shot on campus at a university at the University of Virginia, the Lord did that, all right, and and they they the warning is going out, okay, so there's no excuse when that judgment comes, and uh, here's another judgment that Yahweh Shemal shot issued for. And we rejoice at this judgment, okay? It says, Colorado Springs shooting shows LBGTQ people facing a different kind of hate. No, this is not a different kind of hate. This hate has always been here. Yahabah Shemiah Shai has never been with the alphabet people, okay? The Lord set up a law against being an alphabet, all right? But these people, they want to continue to be wicked. So therefore, the judgment of Yahweh Shai is, 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 is going forth. And I'm just read a little bit. It says, Authority, authorities haven't said why the suspect allegedly opened fire at uh, on, on Saturday, at the club on Saturday, killing five people and wounding 17. Lord is pushing out this, this judgment out here on the earth. And that, that should just, you know, uh, add to the fear that you already have. Of Yahweh Shimei Shai, and the scriptures say in Proverbs one and seven, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. You're a fool if you don't fear Yahweh Shimei Shai and obtain this wisdom and instruction. Okay, so um, they say they don't know what, what what was the motive. Okay, they don't know. Um, it says authorities have said haven't said why the suspect. Allegedly opened fire, so they don't know the motive of why he did this. Why he, you know, put put people to death and wounded seventeen. It says in Ecclesiasticus or the Book of Sirach thirty nine and twenty eight, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. All right, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of the of destruction, they they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him. That made them. And one thing we understand is that Yahweh Shai, he controls, you know, the Heavenly Father that is. He controls both sides, all right? There, there's nothing that goes on on the earth that Yahweh Shimiao Shai doesn't control, all right? Yahweh Shimiao Shai controls the good and the evil, all right? So, uh, you know, that, that, that sparked another precept. Uh, that I want to get, um, uh, well, we just read in Amos, um, three and six, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it. Okay. Um, but it was another precept that came to mind. Um, uh, I believe it's the book of Deuteronomy. Um, what is that? 32 and 39. If I'm not mistaken, the Lord said he kill it and he make it alive. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Deuteronomy 32, 39. See then that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And that's why we read Hebrews 10 and 31, man. 
It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Continue to walk in His ways. All right. You know the Proverbs three and three and five. It says, "Lean not into thine own understanding." Okay. We gotta keep walking in the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and not our own. Okay. There's a lot of judgment that's going out out here. Okay. And we gotta continue to walk in fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh So man, that's that's pretty much all I got. Uh, as far as concerning these these three examples of judgment, which Yahweh Shimei Abshai has issued forth, man. And I'll read it one more time just to end it off. Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So continue to fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And Lord will, this is edifying. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered abroad wherever you may be. Shalom.